What's going on YouTube? Andre Dorsey here again. And today I wanted to talk about uh, my favorite anime and video game series, Dragon Ball Z. The reason I want to do today's video is because Xenoverse 2 has been out for a little bit. Uh, we got Xenoverse 1 uh, year before last, and we got Xenoverse 2 this year. And every time a Dragon Ball Z game comes out, I'm always left sitting and wondering, like, how can they make the perfect Dragon Ball Z game? And I go and look at graphics. So we'll start with graphics, for instance. Graphics, I'm not too big on. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because with Dragon Ball Z, when you watch it, it's, it's a cartoon. It's, you know, 2D. Uh, it's drawn, things of that nature. Um, we played games like Burst Limit and even the first uh, Budokai game that had the 3D graphics. Either one of those, I'm I'm really cool with. Uh, Xenoverse 2 has good graphics. I'm not, you know, I'm not upset with how the characters look or anything like that. So it it really doesn't matter to me. However, and I'm gonna do a lot of comparisons to the Unreal 4. Uh, demos that they're doing uh, with Dragon Ball Z. The Unreal 4 engine, man, those graphics, I, they're amazing. Now, as far as like the blast and the key charge, those could be better. And I feel like if a big uh, developer like uh, Bandai Namco uh, took something like the Unreal Engine 4, then they could give us graphically the a perfect Dragon Ball Z game. Not only that, but that they, they, you know, using that same engine, they could give us one of the first open, truly open world Dragon Ball Z games. My idea of the perfect, of a perfect Dragon Ball Z game would have to be uh, a combination of a lot of Dragon Ball Z games from the past. Um, I like Xenoverse 2 as far as being able to create my character, uh, my character being able to now in Xenoverse 2 transform all the way up to Super Saiyan 3. Um, now, you know, we're at the point where we have Dragon Ball Super and you have two Saiyans who are able to go Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue. So you have to ask yourself, would you want that in a future game? Like if Goku was the only one to be able to do that, um, then I could understand not putting it in the game. But you have two Saiyans that are able to do it, Vegeta and Goku as well as really Goku Black going Super Saiyan Rose. So I would really like to see that um, in a game. I like the character customization in, in, in that. I wish it was a little bit more detailed um, as far as like the combo structure. I wish you could kind of edit and have your own combination of combos, heavy and light attack combos, because like some of the races, like the Freezer race has really cool combos, but I have to play as a Freezer race character. Um, the biggest thing I'll say that I would like to see in a Dragon Ball Z game would be um, a, a, a scale and power structure that is true to the anime. For instance, if you're in Dragon Ball Z, if you're in the actual anime, in the manga, those characters, Goku and Vegeta, they have to actually train to get stronger. Not only that, but they also have to get into uh, very difficult fights that um, they don't necessarily have to win in order to get stronger. I would like to see that in a video game. Have a system that's true to the anime, to where people would literally have to train uh, to get stronger. And I know that there are people that will cheat the system some way. That's with every game. Not concerned with that. But have it that way. So that, hey, if I get online and fight somebody that's been training harder than me, I'm, I'm probably going to get my butt kicked. But I could still get, you know, go back to the table, train, get stronger, and things like that. I want to see it true to the anime. Now, I do understand this, that if I get into the game and I play the game a lot, essentially train the mechanics of the game, I can get, like, for instance, somebody's first time playing the game. If I've been playing the game for say two years, I know it's not been out two years, it's just an example. If I've been practicing at this game every day for two years, I'm going to be better 
then you know I'm gonna know all the ins and outs of the combat system better than somebody who it's their first time playing the game. Uh, so I understand that in a sense that well technically there is training, but no, 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 that's not the training I'm talking about. I'm talking about making my character stronger. I don't like having limitations to my character. Um, it's Dragon Ball Z. They, they, they're not. They don't have limits. You know, it's always somebody stronger and the limits are always raised why can't we keep that the game true uh in a sense to the anime and i feel like the closest that we got to that was um Budokai uh three where you know for instance if i had a level 99 character and i was facing off against a level one character that um that i, I mean one kamehameha wave could essentially wipe them out um, it is the same way in Xenoverse, but only in story mode, it seems like. Uh, whenever you're in story mode and you play, or not story mode, but rather like the parallel quest, when you play one of the first parallel quests with the very weak enemies, essentially you can do like one punch combo and destroy the enemies. I, I would like, I like that, but I would like for it to be all the way around like that. Um, for instance, when you get up to the five star and the six star, the higher tier rank bosses, I mean th that you, you're hitting that limit cap. I want a system to where I can continually train and get better and still be able to, you know, hop into a match like that and just annihilate them. But then also have the option to set computer to where they level scale along with you so that there's always a challenge. That way you're not just completely bored with the game. Of, of getting stronger everybody wants to be the strongest and technically in the game nobody is because everybody has the same level cap okay next thing I would like to see bring back destruction bring back destruction man if I'm firing a Kamehameha wave from Super Saiyan Blue Goku it's gonna destroy some stuff man I, I know that the system the combat system that they have in Xenoverse 2 uh, they can't do that because there's multiple people fighting at one time, which I think it, it needs to be changed as well. Uh, there were fights in Dragon Ball Z where multiple people were fighting at once. Um, however, I don't like Xenoverse that it forces you, in a sense, to fight that way all the time. Um, better yet, I mean, you could have that same system, but adjust it to where the game recognizes when there's only... Um, two people on the battlefield and then you could actually damage the land and stuff like that you know um xenoverse 2 i really would have expected them to you know upgrade that a lot more like when you play uh ultimate tenkaichi but that that game wasn't the best but the game had a lot of potential in the fact that it was the first time that we had creative characters and also when you did a super move it actually destroyed the landscape and it stayed that way i mean you would even be fighting inside of a crater made by one of your super key blasts um, I would like to see that. We had that in the older series, the Tenkaichi series and things like that, where your blast attacks, you know, they would do a cutscene. Um, I'm not opposed to cutscenes. I, I, I like them. Uh, they're true to the anime, you know, where a big blast, I mean, they show off how big that blast was, you know. Those are some of the things that I would like to see. So to revamp on that, the main thing would be um, deeper deeper training in the game make training mean something i think that's the one element that we're missing in dragon ball z is the element of being able to train and the seriousness of how it impacts your character because even when we're watching like gohan for instance right now gohan has fallen off because he hasn't been training make training an essential part of the game you know they like i said they kind of had it in ultimate tenkaichi and things like that you know make me go train i like that uh then to take away a level cap make there be no level cap and i understand it's a video game so you have to have some kind of limit but you know make that limit higher you know make it if i'm a strong character make me a strong character you know um those are some of the things that that i would like to see in the game and then two uh three really bring back uh destructive bring back destruction and and another thing i'll add and i'm closing out with that is make my key blast ultimates look like ultimates man make them look like ultimates so that's what i'd like to see let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section below
next time, y'all.